Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vanessa Jones and today is another mini brands video. I'll be opening one door of this advent calendar every day up until Christmas. Of course for you this will only be a couple of minutes or so. Today is day one and just my luck the power went out because of the 120 kilometer wind last night. So unfortunately I need a torch. Anyway, let's open the first door. Okay, here is our mini brand, and it looks like I have gotten Hershey's Strawberry Syrup. It is metallic. Awesome. It is number 12 on the collector's guide, and there is a blue star next to it, meaning it's an exclusive to this advent calendar. Let's get a closer look at this bottle. Like I said, it is metallic on the front and says Hershey's Syrup and delicious strawberry flavour. On the back there is the Hershey's trademark and instructions that are too small for me to read. Some great news though, it's gluten free. That's all for today, I'll see you tomorrow for day two. Welcome back, today is day two and luckily the power is back on so let's open this door. It looks like I have gotten Jolly Rancher Hard Candy Fruity Bash flavoured. It is number 25 on the collector's guide. The flavours in this bag are lemon, peach, strawberry, pineapple and orange. The packaging is a bright orange and blue and has cartoony fruit printed on it. On the back there are more cartoony fruit and the logo, and when we lift up this flap we can see trademarks, warning for children, and the screaming pineapple that says a smash hit! Let's now move on to door number 3 and see what we get. We have gotten Golden Crisp cereal, it is number 45 on the collector's guide. The front says can't get enough of that Golden Crisp, and it describes it as sweetened puffed wheat cereal. There is a bear eating the cereal with his hands. The back looks like it's promoting some sort of app, but I don't really care. The only thing that matters is the savage bear that eats with his hands is back. On the side there is the logo again, and on the other side there is the nutrition facts that are too small to read. The bottom has a barcode with tiny numbers and an even smaller logo. The top has nothing important, so I think I'm just going to leave it here. Back again, opening dawn number four, and we have gotten Swizzle's Love Heart. Now includes emojis. It is number 48 on the collector's guide. The front has the name and a bow wrapping around the cylinder. There are also tiny emoji sweets dotted around. On the back, there is your regular nutrition facts, and this is apparently 108 grams of candy. The only thing I don't like about this mini brand is the sticker is slightly hanging off one side, and that's a bit disappointing as I can't fix it. Hey everyone, welcome back to day five, and that means it's time to open another door. It looks like we have gotten Dum Dums, which is number 91 on the collector's guide. The container has 16 flavours and there are a thousand of them. The front is copied on both sides but narrower, and on the back there is a warning for children, nutrition facts and barcode. I really like this one, the entire container is covered in lollipops. It's day 6, so let's open the next door. And it looks like we have gotten Barnum's Animal Crackers, which is number 42 on the collector's guide. On the front there is a zebra, elephant, lion, giraffe and gorilla. The background looks like they are in Africa. On the side there is a picture of a giraffe and zebra, and on the other side there is a picture of a lion. The top has a handle with the logo printed on it. The back has the nutrition facts and little pictures of the crackers which can be either lion, seal, hippopotamus, koala or elephant shaped. The bottom has a QR code and barcode with some website names and a phone number. It's December 7th and it's time to open another door. Let's see what we get. And we have gotten Crispy Coca Rice by Mum's Best Cereal. It is number 46 on the collector's guide. The front says Crispy Coca Rice Naturally Flavoured Sweetened Rice Cereal with Real Coca. It's gluten free with no artificial preservatives or flavours. There is a picture of an alpaca and some sort of rodent next to a bowl of cereal. The back has some lettering describing the cereal and it has a picture of an oasis. The bottom has a logo and a barcode. The top has a blue bar and logo. The side has the nutrition facts and the other side is just small text with another logo saying simple goodness. Welcome back, it's December 8th and one day closer to Christmas. Let's open the door. And it looks like we have gotten Yonk Minnie's unwrapped dark chocolate peppermint patties. It has the chocolates falling from the top of the bag. It is number 26 on the collector's guide, and it is an advent calendar exclusive. On the back there is a picture of a teacup on a saucer with the chocolates on the side. The packet is silver with blue dots. There is also the trademarks and some nutrition facts. Here we go again, it's day 9 and it's time to open the next door. 
We have gotten Hershey's Mr. Goodbar chocolate candy with peanuts. This is the giant version and it's bright yellow with red lettering. The back has the logo reprinted again and under this plastic lip it has all of the trademarks. It is number 20 on the collector's guide. We are back again, it's day 10 and that means 15 days till Christmas. Let's get on with it and open door number 10. It looks like we have gotten Swizzle's Chew Crew, a chunky collection of chompable chews. It is number 28 on the collector's guide. On the back there are the nutrition facts and pictures of other candy by Swizzles. Welcome back, it's day 11 and time to open another door. And it looks like we have gotten Heath Milk Chocolate English Toffee Bar, which is number 27 on the collector's guide. The front has this big bold yellow text with pieces of chocolate floating around. The back isn't anything special, it's just the trademark number and it says it's gluten free. It's day 12 and I'm opening this at like 9.41pm and I'm so tired. Anyway, let's open the door and it looks like we have gotten Jolly Rancher Hard Candy, which is number 24 on the collector's guide and it's an advent calendar exclusive. The front has a sassy looking watermelon licking its lips with a watermelon Jolly Rancher beneath it. Watermelon is my least favourite Jolly Rancher flavour besides grape, but that's just me. The packet is green and on the back the watermelon returns and it has the ingredients listed. Day 13, let's open another door and it looks like we have gotten a giant Hershey's special dark mildly sweet chocolate which is number 18 on the collector's guide. The package is brown and has red sides, the left saying giant, the back has the trademarks and licenses and a thank you for supporting Hershey. Day 14, 10 days and doors left so let's open another one. And it looks like we have gotten warheads all mixed up assorted shapes, it is number 93 on the collector's guide. The front says mildly sour, wildly sweet, chewy candy and it is purple and black with candy flying everywhere. The back has the nutrition facts, calories and barcode and when you pull back this flap you see Wally with some text describing the candies that I can't read and coloured text at the bottom which is probably the flavours. Day 15 and I'm near enough dead from the amount of work I have done today but nonetheless I shall open another door. Looks like we have got an icy squeeze candy blue raspberry flavoured. There is a picture of a polar bear snowboarding with a slushy. The background is blue and red striped and it is number 34 on the collector's guide. The package is see-through and blue and on the back there is the nutrition facts. Day 16. I wonder how long this video will be. Anyway, let's open this up and see what we get. Okay, looks like we have gotten Warhead Super Sour Double Drops in flavours green apple and watermelon for ages 4 and up. It is number 90 on the collector's guide. The product is two-toned, one side being green and the other pink. There is a guy with an exploding brain with the words Warheads as the logo. On the pink side it says watermelon and on the green side it says green apple. The back lists every ingredient and has the barcode. It is weirdly misshapen though. Day 17 and another door awaits, so let's open it. It's 100% whole grain wheat Triscuit original made with sea salt it is number 41 on the collector's guide and is his exclusive to this advent calendar. The front has a picture of a farmer's field and a picture of the crackers advertised with some sort of cream and tomatoes. On the back there are the nutrition facts, calories and a tiny QR code. The left side says made simply with circles underneath saying cook the wheat, shred and weave the wheat together and bake them to golden perfection. The back says grown with care with repeating images from the front but bigger. We are back again for day 18 and there are 7 days to Christmas, but anyway, let's open this door. Looks like we have gotten Teddy Graham's Honey Flavoured, which is number 37 on the collector's guide. The front of the box has a teddy bear holding one of the biscuits and is standing in a field with a blue sky. The back has a fun activity for children in which you make music by filling several glass bottles with varying lengths of water. Then you blow across the tops of the bottles to create music. The left side is advertising other Teddy Grahams products and the right has the nutrition facts and the QR code. Here we go again with another advert calendar door. So let's open it up. So let's open it up. <coughs> Sorry about that. Let's open up door 19. Looks like we have gotten Fez Lemon Candy. It is number 47 on the collector's guide. The package is blue with lighter stripes paired with yellow. There are also weird coloured beings floating around. The back of the package is plain white but has the nutrition facts, barcode, contact information and logo. I'm back again to open door 20 but there's also 5 days left until Christmas. Woo! 
Okay, so looks like we have gotten Royal Gelatin Strawberry Flavor. It is number 9 on the collector's guide, glows in the dark, and it is exclusive to this advent calendar. The box is red and white with a picture of the jelly in a bowl surrounded by strawberries. The side is just the logo on a red background, the top has the instructions on how to make the jelly, the back has the calories and nutrition facts and again has instructions on how to make the jelly, and the bottom has the contact information and barcode. Time to open door 21 and it looks like we have gotten Other Pops Tropical Ice Pops. It is number 57 on the collector's guide. The box is orange and yellow striped with small animal things wearing human clothes. There are 80 ice pops in this box. The top of the box is weirdly mirrored and is the same as the front. The back of the box is the exact same as the front. The side of the box is just orange with the 80 ice pop sticker. There is also the contact information and information about the product. The bottom is plain white with a barcode. The other side has the logo and an awareness for cancer information box. There is also the nutrition facts. We are nearly there guys. I have thoroughly enjoyed this. Anyway, let's open door 22. Looks like we have gotten Chupper Chumps, which is number 97 on the collector's guide. The package is red with letters in the background, and there is also a purple banner saying the best of. The back is kinda blurry, but you can see that the bottom has a picture of lollipops. There is also the nutrition facts and a barcode. Okay, second last door, so let's open door number 23. Looks like we have gotten Holy Wacamole Classic, which is number 88 on the collector's guide. The package is yellow and green with a bowl of guacamole with an avocado falling into the bowl. The front of the package is yellow with the logo again. The bottom has the nutrition facts, contact information and barcode. There is also the quote, how can you use our tasty wax? The back is orange and the sides are see-through with inside being lime green. Hello everyone, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Welcome to day 24. Let's open the last door. Looks like our final mini is Icebreaker's Mints, cool mint flavour, which is gold, exclusive to this advent calendar, and is number 3 on the collector's guide. The front is blue, metallically shiny, and the back is plain blue and has the logo. Okay, that is all everyone. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you had an amazing Christmas. I know this is late, but this was quite a big video for me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye!